Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. So this is the second of two pack openings for the Betrayers of Kamigawa set. So this is another nostalgia video. I've done a few of these now, so uh, I suggest if you've not seen any so far, you go back to the last few videos. And I started off with Champions of Kamigawa, opened a couple of, uh, did a couple of videos on Champions with uh, some tournament packs and a couple of boosters so two lots of those and then we've done two lots of uh, betrayers this is the second one so we're going to open up some of these now see what we get to pull see if we manage to uh, get any of those today okay so let's just Bring this in a bit closer so you can see the, the artwork really clearly. Okay, so Moonlight Strider. It's got Soul Shift 3 on it. Frost Ogre. Vanilla 5 3 for 3 and 2 red. Ribbons of the Reiki. Null Mass. Another vanilla creature. It's so a 3 3 for 1 and 2 green. Skull Main Baku. And I think, as I pointed out in the previous video, notice the uh, presence of key counters in the uh, in the set. And the fact that a, a, lot, a lot of these cards care about uh, spirits or arcane spells. So, obviously, you'll see some cards with various mechanisms for removing key counters and adding them. Wax Main Baku, Minimo's Meddling, Tap Root Kami, Blessing of Leeches, Takino's Cavalry, it's got Bushido 1 on it, so with Bushido 1. When this blocks or becomes blocked, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So moving on to our uncommons, we have Nezumu Shadow Watcher. Genju of the Fields. So there were a no number of these um, enchantments that enchanted basics. And this is one of them. There was a cycle of these. So this is the white one. So this enchants planes. And for two until end of turn, enchanted planes becomes a 2-5 white spirit creature. With whenever this creature deals damage, you gain that much life. It's still a land. When enchanted planes is put into the battle graveyard, sorry, you may return Genju of the fields from your graveyard to your hand. So these were able to also bounce back from the graveyard. Aura Barbs and our rare is Nourishing Shoal so X and 2 green instant it's an arcane instant you may remove a green card with converted mana cost X in your hand from the game rather than pay Nourishing Shoal's mana cost and you gain X life and we have a foil in here so we've got a Kobe Gang Shinobi 3 and 2 black creature rat ninja, it's ninjutsu 3 and a black, so ninjutsu was uh, one of the uh, abilities from the set. So for 3 and a black you return an unblocked attacker you control to hand. Put this card into play from your hand, untapped and attacking. Whenever Okiba Gang Shinobi deals combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards and it's a 3-2. So I think as I pointed out, you notice with the foils, they replace a card of the same rarity. So this is a um, common, so I'll probably find if we count through these, we'd find one less common as we went through. And remember as well, there's 15 cards in the, the pack, there's no basic lands. So instead of getting the breakdown of 10 commons, um, 3 uncommons and a rare, which would obviously give you 14, there's an 11th common normally. Although in of course this pack we've got 10 commons and this foil at common. So 
10 regular commons and a foil common. Okay. That is a pretty well sealed. Yeah, these packs would have been bought back before, I think, uh, box mapping was a thing. Quillmain Baku. Scaled Hulk. Taki Taki Numa is that? Taki Numa Bleeder. Hundred Talon Strike. Shinka Gatekeeper. Shimmering Glass Kite. Taproot Kami. Call for blood. Tarashi's grasp. Crack the earth. Floodbringer. I'm not sure if we saw these in the um, the other pack opening for Betrayers. I think we certainly saw one of these in, I'm trying to remember whether, whether either it was in one of the previous packs or in the Champions, but anyway. So, these particular cards here, you can see we've got uh, so basically two cards. And these were flip cards. So, Budoku Pupil one and two green. Whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, you may put a key counter on Badoka Pupil. At the end of turn, if there are two more key counters on Badoka Pupil, you may flip it. And if you flip it, you end up with Ichiga who topples oaks. And it's trample, remove a key counter from Ichiku who topples oaks. Target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn and it's legendary creature spirit. Our next uncommon is God's Eye Gate to the Reike. It's a legendary land with tap, add one to your mana pool. When God's Eye Gate to the Reike is put into the graveyard from play, put a one one color spirit creature token into play. Next uncommon we have Throat Slitter with ninjutsu on it and our rare is patron of the Nezumi five and two black legendary creature spirit with rat offering on it so you'll see there were cards in the set and I'm trying to remember what they were just at rare but they had an offering on them uh, and in this case it's a rat offering I think we saw another one previously in the previous video which was a moon moon folk offering i believe so with the rat offering you may play this card any time you could play an instant by sacrificing a rat and paying the difference in mana costs between this and the sacrifice rat mana costs include color whenever a permanent is put into an opponent's graveyard that player loses one life and it's a six six I'm trying to avoid pulling super hard so I don't damage the cards. Okay. Wax main Baku. Goblin cohort. Teardrop Kami. Arbiger of Spring, had Soul Shift 4 on it. Harobi's Whisper. Splice onto Arcane. That was a thing in the set. Kami of False Hope. 
another Minamu's meddling. Another tap root kami. Blessing of leeches. So we're we're dealing with a smaller set here as well. So it, it doesn't take you to open many packs before you start to see um, duplication starting up. Takino's cavalry. Takino's cavalry. Bushido one on that. First volley. So moving on to our uncommons, we have Eradicate. Empty Shine Kanushi, I think that is. Ronin Cliff Rider with Bushido 1. And our rare is Kadama of the Centre Tree. So four and a green legendary creature spirit. Kadama of the centre trees, power and toughness are each equal to the number of spirits you control. Kadama of the centre tree has soul shift X where X is the number of spirits you control. And obviously it's star star. Jakai, also with Splice onto Arcane. You notice in this set, um, as compared to Champions of Kamagawa, with the Splice onto Arcane cost, rather than just being pretty much identical to the actual casting cost, they did have alternate casting. So for this one, the Splice onto Arcane cost was an opponent gains five life. As you play an Arcane spell, you may reveal this card from your hand and pay its Splice cost. In this case, an opponent gains five life. If you do add this card's effect to that spell, another Akabi Gang Shinobi, Split Tail Miko, Blade Main Baku, Miss Blade, Miss Blade Shinobi, another color with ninjutsu on it, Gnarled Mass. Minamu's meddling. Seem to pull quite a few of these. Another taproot kami. Another blessing of leeches. Another Takino's cavalry. Another first volley. So another flip card. Buduku pupil. Flipping into. Chargi who topples oaks. God's Eye Gate to the Reiki. It's very similar to a lot of cards in here we've already pulled. A throat Slitter. Let's have a look and see what our rare is. So our rare is Mirror, Mirror Gallery. It's five to cast. It's an artifact. The legend rule does not apply. Excellent. Of course, that would have been whatever the legend rule was at that time, but of course that would change as the legend rule changes. They just, I think, changed the legend rule, not to what it currently is, obviously, but to a previous version of the rule, um, just, I think, as the, the first set, or just prior to the first set, which was Champions of Kamigawa, was released, because the set, that particular set, um, contained a lot of... Um, legends in it. So we've got a Shiniki Gatekeeper, a Ninja of the Deep Hours, which is a common, and I think I'd mentioned this, this is one of the slightly more expensive commons, although when I say expensive it's basically just above one dollar, so not that expensive, but anyway, compared to other commons in the set. A three and a blue, Ninjutsu one and a blue, Turn an unblock attacker you control to your hand, put this card into play from your hand, tapped and attacking. When Ninja of the Deep Powers deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. It's a 2-2 two -two and it's a creature human ninja. Sk 
Scaled Hulk, Skullmane Baku, 100 Talon Strike, another Goblin Cohort, Phantom Wings, so one of these. Uh, so enchantments you often see in blue, which will uh, grant an enchanted creature flying. There was also some interesting bounce effects going on in this set, actually. If you look and see the different things. Some cards bounce themselves out of the library. Other cards... Um, I wouldn't say they're quite like Totem Arna, but that, that concept where... For the instance, this one, you, you sack it and it returns an enchanted creature to its owner's hand. So you could do that in response. Vital Surge. Which had Splice onto Arcane. So this is one where the casting cost and the Splice cost are the, one of the same amount. Crawling Filth has Soul Shift 5. Just read through Soul Shift if you're not familiar with this. We've seen a few cards in this particular um, opening. So, Soul Shift 5, when this is put into a graveyard from play, you may return target spirit card with converted mana cost 5 or less from your graveyard to your hand. Silverstorm Samurai. Ire of Kaminari. You can see that the sheer amount of cards that care about arcane spells. Kami of the Honoured Dead, so we're moving on to our Uncommons now. This has got Soul Shift 6 on it. Another flip card. So Cunning Bandit, 1 and 2 red, 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you play a Spirit or a spell, a Cane spell, you may put a Key Counter on Cunning Bandit. At the end of turn, if there are two or more Key Counters on Cunning Bandit, you may flip it. So it's a Creature Human Warrior, it's 2-2. Two, two. If we flip it, it becomes a legendary creature spirit. Azumuki Treachery Incarnate. Remove a key counter from Azumuki Treachery Incarnate. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Stream of Consciousness. And our rare is Iwa, Iwamori of the Open Fist. Two Two green for a 5-5 five, five legendary creature human monk with trample. When Immemori of the Open Fist comes into play, each opponent may put a legendary creature card from his or her hand into play. So there we have it. So I think the things I found most interesting, and I completely forgot about this, is Mirror Gallery. So basically totally makes the legend rule not apply. And we had that foil and um, yeah, a few few interesting cards, obviously, from the set in here. It's interesting to see the flip cards um, you know, and, and also a set that cares fairly, as a whole, cares fairly heavily about legendaries and um, also cares about a number of things, arcane spells, spirits. Um, seem to be a lot of very interesting... Uh, bounce enchantment stuff going on you know there was a, an enchantment theme in here as well with the lands um, we saw that I think in the previous pack opening so very interesting set I'm looking forward um, when we next move on to the next one we'll be up to saviors of Kamigawa so thanks for watching bye for now